Firstly, we, we should come to Morocco just to present the new bike. But uh, finally, we had uh, a nice adventure too. That's what I, um, I will remember. Here in Morocco, I was just riding bikes like uh, because I love it. I do it just for fun, for as long as I can uh, remember. But uh, when lately uh, BH Bikes like contacted me for this project, uh, I didn't know what to expect. But uh, when you guys came here, it was a big opportunity to me to uh, to live the life of a professional rider, even if it's uh, just for four days. First day we went to uh, like uh, Asif Asifnel Valley. And uh, we saw the boat village. It's an amazing uh, village on the shape of a, of a boat, just in the middle of the river. And it's uh, when you see that, it's uh, really like it hits you. And uh, we try, we managed to find some uh, cool lines there, and uh, also the village with the with the kids like following us around and all excited with 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 the, the bikes. The kids are always uh, amazed to see uh, bikes because they're not used to that. They don't see that uh, every day. And also, uh, they're amazed to see people riding on the mule trails that they, they uh, where they use the, like the donkeys and the mules. So, uh, for the first uh, glance, they think it's not possible to ride with a bike. So. The second day we went to uh, like we drove in the in the 4x4 for about like one hour and a half like uh, to a remote village as if down and then uh, Alex uh, like found some uh, cool free ride uh, sections that uh, we decided to do and then we had to hike up like quite a lot so uh, it was a bit difficult especially for me because I'm fasting with Ramadan so the cool thing is like he found a, a jump and uh, I was thinking like it's uh, it's better not to try that, especially in that, in that remote area. But he managed to do it like quite easily, and uh, that was cool. Not in, uh, it's easy like you just go to a Berber house and uh, knock at the door and tell them that you uh, you need some food and they will be more than happy and sometimes you don't need to it, they, like they will see you and uh, at least they will invite you to get some uh, some tea thanks to Isham we found a, a very good family very with good hospitality and they were great to, to give they were just happy to get to give us some food and free and so uh, we don't have uh, that in Europe. Yeah, so after the, after the free ride day, uh, we had a chance, like we had some, some time for just to go free, uh, like riding our bikes with no cameras, with no nothing. So it was cool to hit the line like straight, no stops, no nothing. And it was uh, amazing to be able to ride with, uh, with Alex and to see uh, like the, the real professional uh, abilities of a professional rider. So he was like to just go there and he was uh, looking around and trying to find new, new lines, like new free ride lines. Uh, and I was impressed by that. Like. The third day we had the chance to, to find a, a red dirt area and uh, Salva managed to, uh, to build uh, like a line. Uh, so we got some uh, tools from a Berber house, like the, our host. And then uh, he built 
a line that we could uh, do like a few times and uh, try to get some shots there was uh, a bit different than what I used to do. Like when you're filming, it's, uh, you have to do the line like several times to, uh, to get the best shot and everything. Uh, so it was a bit different. So we rode uh, several locations in, the, in here. And then we moved to uh, Wirgan, Wirgan area, and then to the ski resort around the uh, Okemden. That day we were just uh, we were just driving, driving around, trying to find like new locations, like to get some uh, cool shots. And uh, suddenly, like we we found uh, a place just by the road that's a bit challenging, like like uh, challenging, like a free ride line. Yeah, nice, so uh, sketchy line. Yeah. And uh, I decided not to do it because I didn't feel it, so... Uh, Maybe it was possible to ride and like, it was very, very hard. <laughs> and it's not at all doing for, for, for bikes, so it was uh, tight, but I'm still here. So. For day we went to uh, like trying to find a new location and uh, we found that road that was a bit destroyed by the rain and uh, a lot, lot of mud so it was a bit challenging for driver too and uh, we got to this, this amazing place that I call the, the blue magic trail because of the colors like it, ha it have all kinds of colors and uh, it was just an open space with a lot of possibilities and uh, we tried to have, to have uh, some fun there too. Like for the four days we've been in the mountains, it was quiet and uh, we're just like people are, are people are taking it easy. Life is going too slow and uh, and then you come to Marrakesh and it's so different that it hits you. Like there's a lot of traffic, a lot of motorcycles, and uh, when you're around in the Medina, there's always someone trying to sell something to you, or and that's uh, it's a big contrast. You want to buy for 200 or no? The Moroccan culture of mountain biking is still not uh, popular, uh, so uh, I think it's a chance uh, like to be with you guys to show that it's uh, possible to do some uh, serious mountain biking in Morocco and hopefully it's gonna inspire some more uh, young Moroccans to start doing that. Yeah.